not a corset top or gown. And that is without the Victorian um, shape. So just a corset gown. It's not going to stop. So my half length is 18. Now, if you already know how to cut a breast tube, then you can cut a corset. So, now to do that, I'll take off my shoulder. My shoulder is 16, divided into 2, that's 8. Take my shoulder slow. It's about half inch. And then I'll come over here and take my round sleeve measurement. I want to impute all my measurements. So my now to get your underboss, you divide into it. My under boss is 34. Okay, let me go with my boss first. My boss is 40. So 14 to 4 is 10. I'll put 10 and then I'll put my sewing allowance, which is half one and a half inch. And I'll come over here to my boss to my under bust 14 inches, and then I'll put my under bust measurement, which is 34. 34 is eight and a half inches. Plus my one and a half for sewing allowance. And then I'll do likewise for this place. This place is 36. 36 is 9. That was my stomach, my waistline. 36 is 9. Plus one and a half sewing allowance. So that's it. Then I will I'll look for my bust difference. Now to get that you measure your under bust. You divide your under bust into eight. So since my under bust is thirty-four, into eight is into eight is four and quarter. So I approximate it to four and a half. This is applicable to all measurements. All measurements. You don't have to measure the person checking the center of the breast. Just go ahead, divide the under bust into eight, and that's it. You have what you're looking for. And you use it, it sits well for every person. Mm -hmm. That's one of the secrets of sewing. So, this is it. My four and a half. So, I will need two inches for that at the, at the shoulder length. So, to do that, I'll add the two inches here. I'll add the two inches here and I'll go over and add it here back. I'm going to be cutting it out. Now when I open this place, I'm going to need one inch to join it back. So I'm going to add the one inch here. That's making it a total of three inches on the shoulder line. Hmm? Are you seeing what I'm doing? Hmm. So what I have here is 11. I should have 11 up to this place but don't worry we're gonna see to them so i'll come over here now i'm going to be doing this corset with a bust cup of two and a half inches bust cup of two and a half inches so this is my two and a half i'll come over here and put two and a half that's my two and a half now, when I open this place, I'm going to open this place, I'll need one inch to join it back. So I'll put that two and a half, and the one inch I'll need to join it, that's three and a half, all together. Are you seeing what I'm doing? And then I'll go and add the three and a half here too. Then I'll come to the bust area. Hmm? But before I, do, before I come to the bust area, I want to first of all take the dust so it's clear enough for us. Four and a half. So 
so at this point i'll look for my boss point my boss point is 11 inches Boss point is 11 inches i'll connect it from here to here from here to here are you getting me then my two inches i need to connect these lines to to this place mm? to do that i want to first of all look for the length of my yoke that's how low i want the yoke to be mm? i want this yoke i want a yoke of um, i want a yoke of seven inches i don't want it to down yeah, I want a yoke of 7 inches. So, this is my yoke, 7 inches. So I'll come to this place and take out that my 2, 2 inches I added here. Hmm? So this is the two inches i'll go over here and add the two inches back and add my one inch for sewing then i'll connect this line to this one with the curve i connect this one too with the curve I'm doing so this is my bust hmm? 10 plus one and a half inch for swing you see what is off here i have one inch missing out here i'm going to add the one inch back hmm? and add one inch for swing is it clear enough and i'll connect the lines the one inch i added for swing is when i cut off this place the one inch i'll use and join it back but this is it So that's my so the, my new line that I'm using now is what is this one, no longer this one. Okay. Then to get my curve for my arm here, I'll just do it like this. One and a half inch, and that's my curve for my arm here. Now I want to get my yoke. You know, I, I took a yoke of seven inches, but not like I want it straight like that. So I came to this place, I measured out, I measured out one inch. Okay, it's almost one inch. And then I brought the curve down to one inch. And I'll go to this place too and take the curve down to, down to, down to my arm hole. This is how I want the curve to be. So I have this now. Hmm? Then I'll measure out half inch here. I measure half out half inch. Take this line and draw it to this place. Mm. It's less than half inch now, but that's fine. Then, you know what I have here is four and a half. I'm going to measure five here. Hmm? You see my five inches. Then I'll connect it to this one too. I'll connect it to this one. This is my corset. Hmm? Then I'll take it out. Hmm? We're looking at it now, it's big. When you show it now, you'll be looking for it. So, in order not, not to confuse yourself with your yoke, hmm? you never have to confuse it because you're going to keep this yoke until you're finally done cutting. Until you're finally done cutting. So you're cutting the yoke too and you're using it. You're not done with the yoke yet. Okay. So I'm going to cut off now.
not too close to cut, so it is open on both sides. Mm -hmm. Then I want to remove my yoke now. So to do that, I need to close it back. Okay, so I'm going to close it back eh, in order to remove my yoke. And don't forget, I told you my shoulder is 16 inches. So this yoke, I, I must make sure what I have here before I tape it is 16 inches. So this is 16. Are you seeing that? This is 16. So I want to tape 16 inches from the dot. Okay, so I'll remove my yoke. This is the line I marked for you. Hmm? I'll remove it. Now, you're not throwing this one away. It must be this one that you use and cut back the, the yoke, the lace you're using at the yoke area. I want to show you all that. So, you make sure you take it down. It should look like this when you're using it. Okay. So, now I'm going to cut out my corset. I'll simply follow the shop I had marked before. I simply follow back my shop. Making sure I take it up to the up. It's important to get to the top. You see what I do? Now every piece of this is important. And then I'll do the same of what I have here. I'll do the same here. is your corset. Now you're going to take a pen and label half inch sewing allowance. Allowance. Mm. So you're adding half inch here and then you're adding half inch here. Half inch sewing allowance on this place. You're going to add it when you're cutting it. But you're not adding it here since I've added it already. So you're adding it here and here. Now you're going to do the same thing for this piece. You're adding sewing allowance, half inch. Don't forget, half inch sewing allowance. You add it when you are cutting it. When you are cutting it on the fabric. When you're cutting the fabric. And then you do the same here. Half inch sewing allowance. Here and here, you're not adding it here since I've added it already. And then you come over here to you add half inch on this place, half inch sewing allowance, half inch sewing allowance. And then on this one too, you remember to add half inch sewing allowance. You add it here. 